Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be showing you how to use Conex Bridge to easily move USDT from the Polygon network to Binance Smart Chain. This is a great way to take advantage of the lower fees and faster transaction times on Binance Smart Chain while you are still able to use um, the USDT that you already have on the Binance Smart Chain or on the Polygon network. All right? So, Let's get started. Already. First, you will need to go to the Connect website and connect your wallet. We recommend that you use Metamax or Trust Wallet. You can also use other wallets like Wallet Connect, um, Wallet Link, as the case may be. I'm going to be using SafePal in this particular video tutorial. So, once you are connected, you will see your balance USDT on the Polygon network. And then, you can decide to swap or move it from the Polygon network so Binance Smart Chain. So guys, I'll be using my SafePal wallet for this tutorial. I'll enter my fingerprint. Now, this is my balance on the Polygon network. You can see I have 17 USDT available here. So, depending on the wallet you're using, maybe it's Trust Wallet, maybe it's uh, Metamax, you have a different options at the bottom of your screen here so I'll go to dApps so I can connect to the Connex website bridge.connex.network I'll click this and then I'll hit go I'll confirm just a security question I'll hit connect now I'm connected to my wallet on the Connex bridge website so you see from here it says cross chain transfer from I'm going to be transferring or moving my USDT from Polygon wallet and um, Polygon chain right to the Binance Smart Chain. So if you select this here, you see a list of supported networks, blockchain networks that is supported on the Connex um, bridge. You can see Polygon, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, Gnosis Chain, Arbitrum One, Optimism. Uh, Moon River, Boba, Gada Network, and Kronos Network. All right, so I'll be moving my USDT from Polygon to Binance Smart Chain. So I'll select the token here, USDT. You can see my USDT balance. I'll select USDT as the token I want to move, and then to I'll select the chain, which is Binance Smart Chain, and then I'll allow that to load up. Now, observe what is going to happen here. It's going to show me my balance and ask me how much of my balance do I want to move over to Binance Smart Chain, all right? And then there is, of course, fees for all of these transactions here. Just a minute amount of um, fees you pay to move for transaction fees, all right? All right, so you see my USDT balance here. And then this is the amount of fees that I'll be charged currently if I decide to perform this transaction. So I'll simply enter the amount of USDT I want to transfer or move over to the Binance Smart Chain here. Or I'll simply click on max and it will max out the amount of USDT I have in my wallet. So you see the estimated USDT I'm going to receive is going to be... The total amount of USDT I have in my wallet minus the fees. I'm going to be charged 0.74 USDT for this particular transaction. So I'll simply just click on max to be very sure. You can actually enter the figures manually here, but I want to max out everything for this particular transaction. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll approve, I will approve USDT and then. I'll click confirm. I'll enter my fingerprint or your password, depending on whichever it is you use as a security. All right, so you see it's wait for USDT approval confirmation. You can view that on the blockchain. You see it has approved, and then I can now swap. So I'll click on swap, and then I have to confirm this transaction. You can see this is confirmation page. Swap confirmation from polygon to binance smart chain this is the amount of usdt i'm sending 
this is the amount of fees charge and this is what i'll be expecting on the other side which is the bnb chain all right so i'll click on confirm and i will confirm again i'll enter my password or my fingerprint to authorize this transaction and then you can see that this transaction has gone through just give it a moment it's loading to approve the transaction i have to sign it so this is a process it takes this takes less than a minute or two now you see it has shown me that we have sent 17 USDT. it is actually pending now you can see the process is taken to do all of these transactions behind the scene all right so we'll come back in a jiffy so when it happens So after signing the transaction, I have to sign to claim, alright, so I'll click on sign to claim funds and then I'll OK this, I'll enter my password or my fingerprint and then in no time our USDT will be available on the Binance Smart Chain. See these are the three steps it has to take, you approve, you send and then you sign to claim. So there we go, we have gotten our USDT in our Binance Smart Chain now. We have moved our USDT successfully from Polygon Network to the Binance Smart Chain. You can check out this transaction on the blockchain to see how it happened. So I'll click on that link there and it will show all. Now, if I go back to my wallet, I'll close this and then go back to my wallet. If I refresh this page, you see I no longer have USDT balance on my Polygon wallet here. On the Polygon wallet here, no USDT is zero. Now, if I go to my Binance Smart Chain and refresh, you'll see my USDT sitting right there in my wallet. I could really use the search button USDT. So you see, if I click to investigate, you'll see that I just received 16 USDT some few minutes ago, showing that I have successfully moved my USDT from the Polygon chain to the Binance Smart Chain in no time. So there you go, guys. And that is it. Your USDT will now be on the Binance Smart Chain Network and you will be able to use it to make transactions with lower fees and faster speed. And the best part is, you can always use the Connex Bridge to move your USDT back to the Polygon Network or any other spotted network of your choice. Alright? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. See you in the next video. Bye!